Everybody say good morning, Blake. Good morning, Blake. You having a good morning, bud? You almost caught, you almost caught that one bird. Come on, bud. Come on. I hear your buddies up there. I think they're hiding from you right now. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Get your butt out of here. And there you go. Don't make me step on your tail. Hmm? Come on. Let's wake up. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. They're talking to you. Wake up, wake up. Let's go. This is for for Jeffrey's field trip. Are you circling it? Okay. I, th I think that that uh, marker there is almost out of ink. So you're gonna do uh, roller skating for for your field trip. Is, is that what you're gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Now well, it got up to 94 today, but it's sitting here at 91. But it feels like almost 100. So I decided to take a little road trip out to Homie's Lake, or Holmes Lake. Surprisingly, it isn't that crowded out here. Maybe people think it's a little bit too hot. A bit of uh, some tree damage. A couple lots over, there was a big stack of trees and uh, some some big some big trunks it looked like, and some big branches. But all right, everybody, look out! Everybody, duck! Not. All right, I mentioned earlier they had some tree debris over here, piled over here. Well, we'll come on right next to it. Zoom in a little bit. People playing soccer over there, but that's a pretty big pile. Night before, I think it was Sunday night, we had that big uh, windstorm blow through. Uh, had a, had a bunch of uh, tree damage and everything throughout the city and uh, west of us. Uh, it could also be because uh, they were trimming trees. I don't know, but it's a pretty big pile. Yeah. He was brave. Well, sometime this week, uh, depending on what the sunspot numbers look like, I'm going to try and uh, put new batteries in my uh, shortwave receiver, that uh, Kato receiver that I have that does um, single sideband all the way down to 3.5 megahertz, and uh, see what I can hear, because I need to really uh, get that uh, antenna up a little higher in the tree since we uh, have those other trees taken out. Here's another interesting view of home, homes. I almost said it again, I almost said home. Holmes Lake from the new bridges on the opposite side. You look in the background there, let me stop right here. Look in the background there, let me zoom in a little bit. You can almost see the state capitol from here. I don't know if it's clear here, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it just barely. Well, I guess they got a few rules for fishing out here. No live bait fish. Inch minimum size on largemouth bass. I don't know, I don't fish. Now that's muddy water. The bridge is shaking. Oh, because somebody's still jogging on it. There we go. Over here on the opposite side. I have no idea how deep this was, but when they dug it out, I think it was in 2005, it couldn't have been no more than five or ten feet deep even on the deepest part so I really don't want to find out though but uh, you know the camera is waterproof but it won't float so it looks like I'm my chair that's his major JB is out of town uh, but it, nonetheless we keep that in, in place uh, that's all I got at this time this is 
sounds like the um, Salvation Army or, or the Saturn Net, I guess, you know, is also organizing volunteers to go up there up by Norfolk and Pil Pilger. Pilger. I keep on wanting to say Pilger, but it's Pilger. So, that's the first time I've ever seen two tornadoes right next to each other. Not not right next to each other, probably a mile or two in between. I mean, I, I've seen ones that have little satellite tornadoes, but I've never seen two actual full-size stove pipe, I guess is what some people call them, uh, or even wedge tornadoes right next to each other. So I got a little, little clip of that as they were broadcasting it on the Weather Channel. I'll, I'll put up a little, little clip next to it. It's a, it's a little clip I put as a separate video. It's only six seconds long, but uh, I've never seen anything like it.